I am in the Republic of Panama. I am in the Republic of Panama. I want to let all my Central American Africans know that the Prince of Pan-Africanism has invaded Central America, brothers and sisters. I am here. The weather is good. The people are good. I'm looking forward to lending my expertise, intelligence, critical analysis skills to the rebirth of the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey's Black Star Line Steamship Company Corporation, brothers and sisters. We are here for the express purpose of rebirthing the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey's Black Star Line Steamship Corporation. Oh, yes. But not only that, not only that, I want to make a connection with all my Central American Africans, all my Central American Spanish speaking Africans. I want to meet all of you. I will be speaking at the same park that the Honorable Marcus Garvey spoke at in Colon City, Panama. For those of you who don't know, Colon City, Panama was the heartbeat of the enslaved African slave trade in Central America. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. For those of you who don't know, Cologne City, Panama, the blackest city in Panama, one of the blackest cities in Central America, that was the headquarters for the enslavement of African people. That was the headquarters for the African slave trade. I will be speaking there on Wednesday, January the 10th. I will be speaking there on Wednesday, January the 10th. I will be speaking in the park where Marcus Garvey spoke on Wednesday, January the 10th in Cologne City, Panama. I want my Guatemalan Africans to make the journey to Cologne City, Panama. I want my Honduras Africans to make the journey to Cologne City, Panama. I want my Belize Africans to make the journey to Cologne City, Panama. I want my El Salvador Africans to make the journey to Cologne City, Panama. I want my Colombian Africans to make the journey to Cologne City, Panama. And I want all of my Panamanian Africans I want all of my Panamanian Africans to come join with me in solidarity as we give birth, as we give birth to the Central American Pan-African movement. I'm going to say it again. I'm coming back to Central America to organize all my Spanish speaking American Africans. You thought I would leave you out Central America? My Central American Africans thought Dr. Umar only cared about Africa. You thought Dr. Umar only cared about the Caribbean. You thought Dr. Umar only cared about Canada, in Europe, in France, in the UK. You thought Dr. Umar only cared about the Africans in Asia. Oh no. Pan-Africanism is for all of us, and I am coming to organize the Africans, those of you who live in Central America who are proud to be black, those of you who live in Central America who are proud to be African. I know you speak Spanish. I know you speak Spanish. That's okay. Your slave master taught you Spanish. My slave master taught me English. Somebody else's slave master taught them Portuguese. Somebody else's slave master taught them French. But we are African. African DNA. African blood. African ancestry, brothers and sisters. African spirituality. The Prince of Pan-Africanism is here. I want to see everybody from Central America. I want to see all my Pan-Africanists in Central America. I want to see all of my Spanish-speaking Honduras brothers, Belize brothers and sisters, El Salvador brothers and sisters, Colombia brothers and sisters, Panama brothers and sisters. I want to see all of you Wednesday, January the 10th at the park in Cologne City, Panama, brothers and sisters. Today and tomorrow, we focusing on the rebirth of Black Star Line. Today and tomorrow, we focusing on the rebirth of Black Star Line. Today and tomorrow, we focusing on the rebirth of the Black Star Line. But let me say this. I've been getting a bunch of text messages about the National Society of Black Engineers. 
the National Society of Black Engineers gave a scholarship to a Caucasian young man. The National Society of Black Engineers gave a scholarship to a Caucasian young man. No shade on the young Caucasian male. Congratulations on receiving your scholarship. I hope you are thankful from the African community for receiving that scholarship. And we wish you well and hope that you will not practice racism against African people. Okay? But there are some other black engineers who could have used this scholarship. There's some other black engineers who could have used the scholarship. Thank you. Somebody took the words out of my mouth. Red the greatest. Thank you, sister Red the greatest. You took the words right out of my mouth when you said we can't keep nothing sacred. You absolutely right, sister Red the greatest. You absolutely right, sister Red the greatest. You took the words right out of my mouth. This is why I say you cannot have a white goat of hip hop. This is exactly why I said you cannot have a white goat of hip hop. Now let's go to the white recipient of the engineer's award. By giving that white male no shade on him or his family, no disrespect to that young man or his family is not his fault. No shade on him. Congratulations on the scholarship. But by giving him the engineering scholarship, you just took a scholarship out of the mouth of a black child. By giving him the scholarship, you just took a scholarship out of the mouth of a black child. When are we as black people going to wake up? When are we as African people going to wake up and realize that whenever you help somebody else before helping one of your own, you just gave them an advantage over us? When are we going to wake up and smell the coffee? I'm coming to you live and direct from Central America. I'm coming to you live and direct from Central America. Somebody zesty. Okay, we got a zest. We got zest going on. Okay, we got the zest fest. I'm coming to you live and direct from Central America. And I need y'all to understand. We are in the worst condition. African people worldwide are in the worst condition. We don't hate nobody. We don't wish ill of nobody. We don't want to harm nobody. But we are in a state of crisis. We are fighting for our survival. How can you give a scholarship to a white boy when there's so many black boys who need that scholarship? I'm talking to the National Society of Black Engineers. I'm talking to the National Society of Black Engineers. This is my same argument for MC Shan. This is my same argument for Ed Lover. This is my same argument for DJ Academics. This is my same argument for Mav Hopper, for Joe Button. This is my same argument. I don't have nothing against Eminem. He's a talented artist. He's a talented artist. But if you're going to call him the GOAT, you're taking a spot from us. If you're going to call him the GOAT, you're taking a spot from us and giving it to another people. Why can't you see this? Why can't you see this? It's about self-preservation. The first law of survival is self-preservation. The first law of survival is self-preservation. The first law of survival is self-preservation. That's the first law of survival. We given scholarships to white people from organizations that's supposed to help black people. We given scholarships to white people from organizations that's supposed to help black people. We given scholarships to white people from organizations that's supposed to help black people. We calling white artists the greatest to ever do it. Keeping a black artist from being called the greatest to ever do it. This ain't racism. This is racial preservation. This ain't racism. This is race fundamentalism. This ain't racism. This is racial self-preservation, brothers and sisters. When are we going to wake up? When are we going to wake up? When are we going to wake up? Brothers and sisters, my Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. tour, I have five stops on my Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. tour. Actually, I might have six stops on my Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. tour. 
My first stop will be in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I will be at the Clarion Hotel on Industrial Highway by the airport. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I will be at the Clarion Hotel Industrial Highway by the airport. We're talking about the sexual trafficking of black women and the school to prison pipeline. 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. Friday, January the 12th. 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. on Friday, January the 12th. 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. on Friday, January the 12th. Clarion Hotel, 76 Industrial Highway by the Philadelphia Airport. We're talking about the sexual trafficking of black women and the school to prison pipeline. My second stop will be in Camden, New Jersey. Youth explosion, excuse me, I stand corrected. My second stop will be Saturday. I'm planning to attend Baba Oduno, Garveyite ancestor Baba Oduno. I'm planning on attending his homegoing celebration in Washington, D.C. Rest in paradise to ancestor Baba Oduno, one of our longest surviving Garvey elders. Rest in paradise to Baba Oduno. His memorial will be in Washington, D.C. on Saturday, January the 13th. I'm trying to attend. I'm not scheduled to speak, brothers and sisters. I'm not scheduled to speak. I'm going to pay my respects to the Garvey elder. Sunday, January the 14th, I fly to Atlanta, Georgia. I'm going to be interviewed on a podcast in Atlanta. I'm not speaking in Atlanta. I'm going to be interviewed on a live podcast in Atlanta on Sunday, January the 14th. I will be sharing that flyer. And then on Monday the 15th, I will keynote the Camden, New Jersey, Martin Luther King Jr. Youth Explosion Conference. On Monday, January the 15th, which is Dr. King's actual birthday, Dr. King's actual birthday, I will be in Camden, New Jersey, the keynote, the Black Youth Explosion Conference. I will be the last speaker beginning at 3.30 p.m. I will be the last speaker beginning at 3.30 p.m. And then the very next day, the very next day, on Tuesday, January the 16th, I will keynote the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. celebration in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Where are my Williamsport, Pennsylvania Africans at? Where are my Williamsport and Central Pennsylvania Africans at? I thought that was Suki right there. Where are my Williamsport and Central Pennsylvania Africans at? waiting on the location and then on Thursday January the 18th Sacramento California for the first time in 10 years Thursday January the 18th Sacramento California for the first time in 10 years. where are my Sacramento Africans at where are my Bay Area Africans at I want to see my Oakland Africans my San Fran Africans my Richmond Africans all roads lead to Sacramento, California on Thursday, January the 18th. And then Friday, Friday, January the 19th, Antioch, California. Friday, January the 19th, Antioch, California. Sacramento lecture is free. Antioch lecture is free. Sacramento lecture is free. Antioch lecture is free. Sacramento lecture is free. Antioch lecture is free, brothers and sisters.